breath. And without air, death. If the kiss of life method of resuscitation was more widely known, many of the victims of drowning or suffocation, of gas poisoning or electric shock could have been saved. In each case, this simple effective treatment can be used. In natural breathing, the muscles in the chest suck air into the lungs and then the elastic chest wall relaxes and the air is forced out. When the air is sucked in, a small amount of oxygen passes through the lung tissues and re-energizes the blood. And a little carbon dioxide is returned to the lungs and forced out. But in an unconscious person, when the chest muscles have ceased to work, the action of breathing can be stimulated by blowing air into the lungs. This is just as effective as allowing natural breathing to take place. This simple apparatus demonstrates the process. The tin represents the head, the tube at the back is the windpipe, and the plastic bag acts as the lungs. If we place a book on the bag, a telephone directory in this case, it represents the resistance of the chest wall. As she blows, the chest inflates and then empties naturally. there's a natural rhythm. If the bag is folded in half and the heavy book replaced by a lighter one, the apparatus illustrates the breathing of a child. Only gentle puffs are needed now. And this is the basis of the kiss of life. But, of course, it is important to have a clear passage from the mouth into the lungs. Usually it will be clear, but when consciousness is lost, the tongue tends to fall back and block the passage. To open it again, the head must be placed well back. And it also helps considerably if the chin is supported. The sword swallower does just this. throwing his head back, he has cleared the way into the stump, which also clears the way to the lungs. And there are other people who, perhaps unconsciously, use the same technique. Restore life. To simulate breathing in an unconscious person, the head must be placed well back, the chin supported firmly, the nostrils pinched to prevent air leakage, and air blown into the lungs. When the chest has fallen, the lungs are obviously empty and must be filled once more. A natural rhythm. Or if it's necessary to keep one hand free, the nose can be closed by the cheek, but the head is still kept well back. The method is so simple a young girl can resuscitate a grown man. 
and when natural breathing is restarted, the patient must be turned onto his side, as he may well vomit, and if he remained on his back, he would choke. The most important thing is speed. 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 If the rescuer is a strong enough swimmer, he can start resuscitation on the spot. Those few puffs of air in the lungs might save a life. Sure. The ambulance must be summoned and the patient must receive proper medical attention. Resuscitation. The kiss of life. Of life. 